In today's uh, Miracles webinar, let's talk about when we're confused or when we're just tired, you know, kind of like I am right now. Excuse me, I'm working on this uh, the technical thing of this on my own. You know, when we're tired, and it's the end of the day here, and where I'm getting used to doing these webinars, and uh, excuse me while I sip on my latte tea, and uh, but we're not sure what to do in life, and what do I want out of life, we may ask. And, you know, what's your purpose you might be pondering over? Um, I'm going to share a couple of different principles from A Course in Miracles today that many of you have asked me about through, our, through the Mastermind Challenge. Uh, if you don't aren't familiar with the Mastermind Challenge, uh, there'll be a link down in the description area here at YouTube below where you can check that out further. And I'll also have a few other things down in the description area down below here at YouTube. A couple blog articles that I've written I'm going to refer you to. And um, a few other things. So um, take advantage of that. I hope that you will. But let's talk about what is self-forgiveness, you know? And, you know, what's your purpose in life? Can it be brought forth within you? And But you got to release the past. Is what we talked about uh, the other day in a mastermind session that we had. But if you're, if you're like much of the world, often you will endure periods of pondering over what's your purpose in life and, you know, perhaps feeling lost and confused. And it might be upon things like, you know, advancing in a new career position or even as far as when we're youngsters graduating from high school and that kind of a thing, which really is exciting. But, you know, not to adulthood, it just goes on where we're always concerned about what we're going to do with our life, landing that perfect job you know, you thought you always wanted. Now, even if you're retired, I talked about the high school student, but you know, now that we are approaching retirement years, like I am myself, we're concerned about, you know, things like, are we going to have enough money to live on in our ripe old age? But, you know, some are still not sure what to do with life, even upon financial success. And you can read more on my blog on this subject, which I had written a detailed article on, and I'll have that link down below as well. Uh, where you could click on that, and it's about uh, you're tapping into your inward longing, the passion that you want, and it's a great article. I hope that you'll check that out, but it seems regardless of age, you know, I've asked myself, what do I want out of life? As often as maybe buying a new pair of jeans. It used to be one time I was buying blue jeans all the time uh, because I just had kind of a fetish over different style of blue jeans. Every time a new fashion would come out, I'd had to buy one. So what do I want to do with life is, was, uh, I'd ask myself as often as buying a new pair of jeans and, and um, you know, maybe something else to match with it. But, but after 25 years in, in a business that I was in that I loathed, for those of you that know my story, the financial services business, in 25 years, I did fairly well, and uh, but I really didn't love the business. I loathed it, and most of you know my story, and so I don't want to dwell on it, but it wasn't until I was age 50, I just want to mention here, that I was sentenced to 10 years in prison for a foolish securities violation, foolish on my part, uh, and the, the courts really, really drastically oversentenced me for the amount of this, but, but it was very foolish on myself, and it was set to... It was, my sentence was meant to set an example, and it sure did. Wow, I'm still feeling the pain today from that. But you too perhaps might be the same about a confused heart and what's your purpose in life. So if that's the case, likewise, are you struggling over not sure what you want to do with your life, or maybe this confusion is something that, you know, many of us go through, wouldn't you think? You know, I receive uh, social media messages all the time. And I encourage you to message me. And if I don't get back to you right away, or I might possibly not get back to you right away, just I'm really getting a lot of messages lately. I really and truly am. And that's great. And I, I scan through them and I try to, you know, return messages the best I can. And, but you know, if I just, if I spent all day, every day returning messages, I wouldn't have time to do what I need to be doing in life. And, and so, but anyways, I, appreciate your messages. But I receive messages all the time concerned about, of all different ages of people, by the way, concerned about a life of purpose. 
And likewise, they can't seem to practice self-forgiveness because they don't understand what it is and let the past go. So someone had asked me, what is the real meaning of forgiveness? Can you give me a clue? Let me ponder on that a little bit. You talk about in your books, the real meaning of forgiveness. Well, let me say that A Course in Miracles states, all healing is released from the past. And that is why the Holy Spirit is the only healer. Well, now with that said, in book one of my series called The Master of Everything, A Story of Mankind in the World of Illusion We Call Life is a subtitle, I talk about the process of writing my books from prison. Yes, from a prison cell, which was a lot like watching my, my daughters uh, growing up and moving on to their way into adulthood. I'd mentioned in my books, and I'd written about those feelings while still in that awful and excuse me, I call it the, often, the volatile and often violent din of the cell block. And it really was that violent. It really, really was. I was in a state prison. But yes, from behind bars is where my material landed, a mainstream publisher for the first three books of my series, which are out right now. And you'll find that at my website at jamesnusbomber.com. But during that painstaking procedure of writing and writing by hand while I was down and I had no computer resources at all because in prison there's there's no computer uh, and everything's in fact when I corresponded with friends on the outside it was had to be handwritten mail so oh yes I mean I'm telling you surely I was feeling lost and confused in life while piecing together that first book of the series called The Master of Everything I just love that book so much but I'd hear the inner voice within me that inner voice just saying, would be telling me, you know, just like your little girls, this book series is on its way and it's growing and now it needs to go into the next phase. So with that said, let's touch more about the confused heart. When confused about your life and what's your purpose and why are you here and why do all these troubles seem to get you and, or whatever it might be, relationship issues are always up. And that's on and on in this world, isn't it? For us as humans, we, we really have a lot of reasons we can sit around and make excuses of why we feel lost and confused in life. But I'd add, as I spoke to readers of my own, as I message people and uh, in some different forums that I've held, in my mastermind community that I seem to visualize in my head while feeling not sure what to do with life that sooner or later, the words of my books would be in your hands. Well, that I was thinking that while from a prison cell. Now here I am doing a YouTube webinar and hopefully you who are listening to me own my books and are reading the books. And there's more on the way too, but the first three books are out and you can find them at my website jamesnussbomber.com, and they're published by Ozark Mountain Publishing Company. But likewise, and hopefully helping those who are feeling lost and confused in life in their own way, as I once was, is the purpose for this webinar and for my books. But or perhaps maybe it could be those that are just searching for whatever it is. Sometimes we don't know what we're searching for, you know? But with a confused heart, maybe, and just not certain that they just know, they don't know what they are going to discover. They might be at a branch of the road and trying to figure out, you know, hey, which way do I turn now? Well, of course, once you're reading my books, I would be thinking then, while I was in prison, I'd be thinking, once people are reading my books, then, wow, my task for writing these particular books will be over with, but then there will be more tasks for, tasks for me. And that's where I talk about time, how we're so worried about time in this world, where the Holy Spirit, which is our inner divine self, and I don't want to dwell on that today because that's not the intent of this, but as the Course in Miracles teaches us, the Holy Spirit helps us suspend time, so to speak, in this world, where what we do now appreciates later. No different than the farmer planting his seeds 
and a, a crop. Well, it's the same way with my books as I was writing there, not knowing if they were ever going to be, you know, get there or if I'd ever be like right here doing what I'm doing now. But I find that the only way to heal, the only way to truly heal is to heal, I mean, what is holding us hostage, holding us as prisoners, I guess we could say, to the anxiety and fear of not living the life that you want. Course in Miracles gives us something on that that says the removal of blocks then is the only way to guarantee help and healing. Wow, that's pretty simple, isn't it? Removal of blocks, removal of the things that are getting in your way, and that leads you to healing. So my point is, though, is from that, uh, from where I sat, in that volatile and often violent den of the cell block, the term I came up with, and it's really a lot of truth to that. All the pondering I was doing and, and worrying too, like perhaps you are maybe over things like what's your purpose in life, I'd wonder how I will ever find a publisher who would see its purpose maybe, or you know, wanting me, wanting to get involved. But I felt that there was, you know, some, some company, a publishing company has got to want to know what I'm writing about and see it. And sure enough, it happened. But other individuals whom I have not yet met, I have to say, still as I'm progressing on, will come onto the scene. And I had said that to myself while I was in prison too, writing from the principles of A Course in Miracles. I would say, there are going to be people entering my life. And I'm still saying that today. There are people I don't know yet that will be entering my life. And sure enough, it's like, I don't discount anybody I run into every day. I'd see that that time in prison of feeling lost and confused in life is a natural progression in say the growing up periods, just as others, you know, I've also run into that found healing through self-forgiveness. You know, it's kind of, sometimes we need to look at the pain that we're going through and feeling lost as maybe a, a growing spurt. I like to look at it that way. But, you know, and before I conclude here, let's talk a little bit about when we're not sure what to do with life. Well, let's begin practicing, really, the real meaning of forgiveness, first of all, which is how we heal a confused heart. So often we get off track when we're not sure what we want to do with life and we're continually hounding ourselves and haunting ourselves and scolding ourselves with thoughts of, what do I want to do in life? I can't figure it out. And I, I can honestly openly tell you that I've been advised by the one, the capital O, the one, the one, which is my divine inner self, which is the same as yours. We're all connected. I was advised by that one that I should just relax while I proceed with the suggested promotion of this book series, not from my publisher, from within me that I'm feeling. For example, my publisher didn't order me to do this webinar today or the many other videos and articles I have at my website. No, because they're great and they're behind me and they understand that the promotion it's a, to get my word out there and to get the books gone, but I've been advised by something within, not within my body, within my truest essence. I call it my God essence, within that essence of who I am, advising me what to do next. And when I listen to that advisement that I'm getting, that guidance, it helps me to get over being lost and confused. And there you go. That's the real, that's the real meaning of true forgiveness because you're overlooking the blocks that are in your way and going beyond them because the blocks that are in your way are not real. If you can't go over top of them, then go around them. But, you know, you can also read more at my blog as well. If you're at my website, now, I won't be able to have room in the YouTube description box down below to put all these links in there. So um, if you want to read more on this, on building self-confidence, Go to my website, jamesnussbomber.com, and, and slash how to build self-confidence. It will take you right there to numerous articles I have on that as well. 
So this in itself, what I just explained to you, has helped me to get over the feeling of lost and confused in life. And I'd constantly visualize that events are being arranged at that very, at that very moment while I continued with my work, laboring away with no computer, writing every single day. Writing about what I was seeing and my feelings about everything. And to this day, when I feel con a confused heart, I open my mind to the same thought process called self-forgiveness, which is where you too, yourself, can begin to realize what's your purpose in life. The Course in Miracles likes to say, tells us, for us to like to learn, the Course in Miracles states, I'm going to give you the exact principle here, follow the Holy Spirit's teaching in forgiveness. Then because forgiveness is his function, and he knows how to fulfill it perfectly. So, in fact, events are being arranged right now in your own life, as you're listening to this right now, to help you get out of the rut that you're in or whatever it is, in the dumps or whatever it might be. Maybe something led you to this webinar to land on my book series, whatever that might be. But I myself can tell you that excuse me, that I've already been instructed from my inner guide with my inner guidance system within the Holy Spirit to turn everything over to my teacher and guide, which is him. You can call the Holy Spirit a she if you want, which the Course in Miracles terms the Holy Spirit. So this is my message to you on why you should begin practicing the real meaning of self-forgiveness. As always, it was nice talking to you. Until next time, God bless.